right? So, you know, I seen, it was immediately almost, if not right after, but immediately after us, like a year or two ago, you had that interview with the guys that you had, they, they was kind of kicked you off the show. First of all, uh -oh. I, that's what let's, it looked let's, like. Let's First of all, what you was expressing your can we can we pull a can we pull a clip up if it's that because hey, what it looked like. Let's talk about what it is. I was already taking off hey, my headphones be, and exiting, getting up before he even said when, something. When whatever the corny right. shit he said. Exit, exit the uh, go to get grab the clip right. It says Fetty Wops, baby mama gets kicked out after she's threatened to look. Fresh watch it. Ask me, was I leaving already? And I too. Like yeah. You're, yeah. you're missing so many My things here. My kid's dad has like, to explain himself to me. Oh, that's a problem too. That, and that's yeah, the whole. Call it how you want. And he, he's, a, here's and the he's thing. what you he, call he could at least, But here's the thing. Still, he could at least tell you, shut up, it's my kid. Yeah. That dude can't. That's yeah. the not, point. But he's never going to say that. To but I'm saying never, he can. He, never come out he doesn't have. He doesn't have the same. If he was an alpha male, he would tell you, "Shut up." Those are my kids yeah, too. He would. He would he tell wouldn't. you, "Shut up." No, because there's a difference alpha between being an alpha women. male and being no. disrespectful. No, no, no. But alpha men don't let the there's women bully them. There's a difference between gender roles and them. common respect. But here's the thing: he would say, "Those are my kids too." Like he, alpha men don't let women bully them. Period. That's what I'm trying to say. And the thing is, is that that guy, he still doesn't have the same level of authority as you do. And if it was your bio, if it was the biological dad, he could at least tell you, well, I don't okay, care what you think. Okay, but if you were buying, if kid. you were contributing to my kids, can I still go. sit here that's, and say that you're not going to have that? I just said I fucking spent 700 fucking dollars on school shopping, okay? No, no one helped me with that. So how are you going to say that you're going to hit my kids? Here's the thing. I'm not your husband. Don't raise your voice at me and don't First swear all, me like I'm that again. Listening. I'm, I'm making don't eye contact again. with him. I'm talking to I don't, him. I don't care. You're on You're on the podcast and nobody's swearing at but you. But he has nobody's absolutely yelling. no problem. Whatever. And I'm talking to him. Me and him are making eye contact. He's shaking his head in agreement and you have a problem. I do have a problem. You're not going to disrespect my host. Period. He doesn't feel disrespected. I don't give a fuck. What Do you feel disrespected? Listen, right I want to know, do you feel disrespected? Right now, you're raising your voice and it's kind of like, yeah, why? I'm talking to you nice, calm. I didn't show you one time. <laughs> you was We're... just shaking your head and agreeing at me until he said something. I'm trying to be nice to you here, okay? Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> so it's like, I get what you're saying. Look, you go through a lot. But on the platform, just keep it chill, all right? Here we go. Don't swear at him again. Uh, that's going to be the first and last time Everybody's I tell you. Everybody's been swearing the whole time. Yeah, yeah, but, but, you're, but here's the thing. You're swearing at him, trying to I'm emphasize. You're trying him. to come up aggressive, whatever. Yo, this ain't for fucking debate, bro. Who show are you on? Honestly, fuck you and your show. Okay, nigga. get the like, fuck out of here. I will get the, get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. You give it's giving you ain't get pussy until yeah. you was twenty something years old. Fantastic. Fantastic. It was actually eighteen. You should watch 18. the show and figure it out. But anyway, 18. go ahead. Ladies fuck out of here. You look like a clown. Who looks like a clown? You get out of here. I look better than any bitch you ever been with. Look at you. Look at you. You run. You run a show on literally. You, you run a right show now. with thirteen thousand people watching. I don't give a fuck. You run a show debating about and with women. What does that say this? about you, pussy ass nigga? Look like a you look, you look fucking pussy, clown. Nigga. Get out of here. I'm a clown. And yes, you are. You look wild right now. now. I'll get this bitch. Shut the fuck up, nigga. You don't know who the fuck uh, you, you'll do what? Now, you'll you do heard what? me. You heard me. You'll do what? Get a shot up. You heard me. Yo. Loud and clear, my nigga. Okay, what bring him back. Get him, bring him back. Bring him back. It won't be tonight, nigga. And I don't it's miss. Gonna be a night that's yep. what he's do it. Do it. Fred, throw me again. Do it. Do it. Fantastic. I don't miss, bitch. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yep. I was getting up. I was leaving. How you get somebody out that's leaving? <laughs> fuck, I already told you it's fuck you in your show. Did they pay you for that show? No. Oh, so it was like, fuck them now, then. At the end of the day. It was fuck them from when they was talking that goofy shit from when I sat at the table because... So look, you, look no, paint wait. the picture for us. So I'm just saying, yeah, let's yeah. know what right. it was. Paint the picture for us. Paint the picture for y'all. First of all, this is my, my truth. I never knew nothing about Fresh and Fit mm -hmm. prior to going on their show. You know what I'm saying? You never watched them before? He never the watched them thing. before. I watch them sometimes. No, nothing like that. I still so, never watched them. So, look, uh, my one of my cousins and shit, excuse me, one of my cousins, he he be watching them sometimes. He like, yo, I was going to Miami. I had hella shit to do already anyway. Like, I had shows and everything back to back in Miami for like a cool five days straight. I was out there. So... Boom. Um, my cousin told me that's a cool platform. You know, they get a lot of viewers. If you could go on there and do it right, you could benefit from it. Whatever. All right, cool. Fuck it. I'm going to go up there. I get there. I'm already not feeling the vibes because at the end of the day, I'm a, I'm a real bitch. You get what I'm saying? All of the bitches there was giving me a vibe. Like, like, like fake. You feel mm, me? Gotcha. Like them ditzy, glitz and glam type bitches. Like, right. uh, you know? 
like a dumb Cali hoe or a dumb Miami hoe. <laughs> hey, I'm yo. not even trying to be funny. I'm just <laughs> trying to put it in perspective because we don't right. move like that on the Absolutely. East Coast. Right. Jersey bitches, New York bitches, we don't move. We on point at all times. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Dumb bitches is really in La La Land mm -hmm. at all times. Not everybody because I got some solid friends from those areas. But fuck it. Anyway, so boom, I get to the show and they're already on time and I'm not really too comfortable but I'm like, oh, I'm a rock out. So I sit at the table and as we getting into this conversation, y'all talking about men that's dating women with kids is inconveniencing themselves. Like, y'all know how many balls I, I got a friend that's in a relationship with a nigga that's not her baby father, but she got mad shit going for us. I'm talking about own facilities and everything. Who's inconveniencing who? Like, what are you talking about? Every situation is, you can't just put a a name on a situation. You get what I'm saying? Because all I was trying to explain is y'all got children. So y'all understand this more. Mm -hmm. If you got children and you're dating someone who's not your child's mother, bitch, I'm inconveniencing you. I'm inconveniencing myself by bringing my kid around you because I don't even know if you really going to ever be here for real. Right. You feel me? And this is my kid life that I'm, that I'm bringing you into. This is the most prized possession this that I right. own. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, you know, when you bring your kid around somebody, you will honestly hope that they would never do anything to violate your kid but you still taking that slight small risk this person might get on some bitter shit and hurt my kid this person might try to hurt me in front of my kid this person might try to touch my kid this is real life you feel me so you cannot sit here and say that you're inconveniencing a single man just because he's single you know how many bum single niggas it is out here that bring nothing to the table like y'all sound silly as hell and i'm the type of bitch like i got kids but it don't matter who I'm dating. I'm never going to put the responsibility of my kids on you. Mm -hmm. I married a nigga, and I still didn't put my responsibility of my kids on him. Mm -hmm. I didn't make him like feel like none of this shit was his obligation. Right. None of it at do, all. Do you, think, do you think that um, they set those questions up to invoke certain reactions out of you? Emotions. I don't even feel like they set those questions up to get certain reactions out of women. I believe that they set those questions up because that's genuinely how they feel. They are genuinely bitch-ass niggas oh. with so. no real perspective on real life. Like, you know, when you come from the hood, you got a real perspective. Right. You feel me? So, them niggas ain't got no perspective. That nigga ain't even got a mind for his own, bro. We was talking, he was perfectly fine. Just how me and you, mm. we talking right now, we making eye contact, we fine. That's like if he say something about the way I'm talking to you. And now you start turning up on me too all of a sudden tomorrow. Oh, yeah, but you, you was just nodding, looking at me. We was just vibing. Now, because he got a problem, you got a problem. Now, all of y'all is some bitch-ass niggas. My, 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 that was my issue. So my issue is this, like, listening to footage. Ain't shit. never fuck no bitch that look like me. Yeah, fuck right. is these niggas listen, talking about? Listen, no, and not, and not, for, not for free. <laughs> as talk we, not for free. And listening to the, listening to the <laughs> footage, my only issue was this right here when he was saying this. This was bothering me when he just said I'm sorry. I was the baddest bitch at that nah, table. Absolutely. Them bitches was mad. Even mad popping my shit, walking off. I'm looking <laughs> good. Like, my issue niggas when, watching when that nigga shit was back, like, like, yo, don't do that again. Don't do that. Was like, 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 what you little, gonna do? It was a little yo, over the top. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. That like, people yo. think I'm just wild. They not understand. These niggas follow him. They got a little camera. You feel me? Yeah. So as I'm leaving, I was already leaving on my own anyway. Because it wasn't my like vibe. Following me like the Maury show. Following me like the Maury show. And talking shit like, yeah, bitch, get your shoes. What? <laughs> oh, so pop off on that nigga. I smacked this on. I ain't saying hard as hell. Yeah. He talking about some Nah, y'all ain't here bugging for real. Y'all yeah. bugging. And, and you know what it is? The shit he was saying to you, I ain't gonna lie. I done told my girl, don't say it again, but I'm saying shit to her. Like, it's me and her, like, in her ear, like, you don't say that shit again. <laughs> don't, when I tell you, don't do something to... Nah, that's some shit you said. 